Welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. Uh, I don't want to howl that, I just want a dash link. That's all I want to do. Yeah, there's one statue over here too, and, well, surprisingly, this statue leads to yet another heart piece. So, let's just go ahead and take that. Man, we haven't been here in a while, but hey, we're going back to an old area. I like it. I like how they did that in this game. I think the element was perfect. Remember I said, remember this boulder? Yeah, now's actually the time to use it. Sure, let's use the bug. Blow it up. There we go. Alright, that's what I want. No, Link won't get excited over it because I haven't turned off my console since the last episode. Sorry if you like watching that. Okay, let's just move the statue out of my way. There's no point in moving in the spot you need it to right now because it'll automatically put the statue aside and Link gets the Sky character. So there's really no point to it. I, love, I like the chain on her Link's clothes. You know, I like it a lot. But you, I, I'm happy they use it again in Skyward Sword. But they should do that more in Zelda games. But I mean, can you really blame them? I mean, this came out in 2006. I and mean, the only two games in between this game and Skyward Sword, excluding the Ocarina of Time remake and the Four Swords remake for the 3DS, is, uh, well, Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass. And that link doesn't have tuning. I mean, the chain bell underneath the tuning. So, there's really nothing to fret about, honestly. Okay. I want to turn back to my elven form, because, well, I like running around as Link in his elf form more than I do the wolf form. Of course! But I love turning into a wolf, don't get me wrong. It's a lot better than a freaking bunny. And I love rabbits. We get Harpies number 39. So don't get me wrong, I love rabbits as much as the next guy, but when I'm playing a Zelda game and I need a sword or something to attack with, or, you know, rabbit ain't, a rabbit ain't the best thing to do. Okay, now let's actually warp to, let's get the Gerudo Desert one out of the way first, just because. So, yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and get this one out of the way. Man, we only need six more heart pieces. So two is in the next area, uh, there's two more in the area after that. And the other two are from, well, just scenery and stuff. Uh, yeah. No, don't go down there yet. There's no point. Okay, yeah. Opponent can't get up here, so let's just use our wolf form and run over here. Hey look, there's another statue. Who would have thought? There's actually a hundred rupee chests too. If you didn't get the golden bug here, now is a pretty good time to do that, so if I were you, I would do that. And see there's another chest over there? Getting this chest is the most pain in the butt one to get. And I have to say, it's easier to get on the GameCube version because you can adjust the camera and everything. Like, see how I can move the camera with the C-Stick? You can't do that in the Wii version, and that's really freaking annoying how you can't do that. I mean, I love doing it. Ever since Wind Waker, I love moving the camera angle with the C-Stick, but, well, honestly, you can't, so don't worry about it. Another chest contains 100 rupees, but is the chest really worth getting? Well, kind of. I'll show you how to get it, just because I'm OCD like that. So what you want to do is move the, the statue, and see how this makes kind of like a cross? Well, like a T in a way as well. I should say cross. Ugh. So, walk it up, and then after that, walk it sideways. So you run one all the way to the edge. And after that, you should be able to just jump across. And look, it does the same thing. So what you need to do is go to the right. I want to get to the right. Uh, let's do it again. Let's go to the right. There we go. You want to, let's see. Okay, after we move it to the right a bit, we want to run back all the way to this platform here. There we go. And then after that, we want to start over here. Don't worry, we can still get the statue. And after that, we want to walk it across, go to the right, and then we want to see if it's far enough. Yeah, yeah it is. And after that, we just jump across, and we get our reward, which is 100 rupees. As if that's a spoiler. I mean, come on, guys, really? Is that a spoiler? Not in my opinion. So 
So, okay. Now let's just go ahead and warp to the other two locations. So we actually want to warp here. Do not warp exactly at Lake Hilly because you have to get shot up in order to get those two, uh, uh, those two statues. So, uh, not worth it. They're just not worth it. And if you notice, we do have quite a lot of money. So, uh, if you want to go buy that magic armor pretty soon, uh, go ahead. I remember that spot where uh, Telma was showing Link King Bulbin on the bridge, and how it was like this coliseum looking, uh, oh, like these floors? Yeah. It, this is uh, the place we want to go. This is where the statue is. So we just want to go ahead and get rid of them. Oh, get rid of these guys. Ha! No, I want to do home split. There we go. Ha! Eat it! You shall be killed! Thank you, Bolins. They're always getting in my way somehow. Okay, hopefully that's enough. This reminds me of the Coliseum, like, Greek times, where they sat down and watched gladiators, like, fight. Well, Roman, too, but... Well, it's just... Well, what it reminds me of. Oh, that's an interesting Sky character. Looks like hieroglyphics to me, it's not the picture. Well, they're as confusing as hieroglyphics in my opinion. Okay, so what we want to do is we actually want to move the statue, move it around these uh, these broken debris, and move it all the way around. And, uh, let's see here. We want to move it about right here. There we go. Once you have it about here, uh, let's see, yeah, yeah, okay. I got it, I got it. No! I don't got it. Oh, I see. Okay. About right here. Now, you can't use the dash button to jump up the wall like the Skyward Sword Link can. You know, you just can't do that. So, inside this treasure chest, we get a hundred more rupees. And I will show you guys how to get the other chest, even though I'm pretty much broke. So, I'll show you guys how to get that one, too. Like, for the next Sky character. Even though I can't really use the money in any way at all, but I, I might as well buy the magic armor this episode just so I can use the money. You know what I mean, viewers? I mean, if you got money, you might just spend it. No, no, not in real life, viewers. If you have money, save it, because this economy is terrible, and if, well, for the United States, viewers, if our current president gets re-elected, we're screwed. Seriously, we're already screwed when you put Medicare on us. But let's not talk about politics, let's talk about video games. Run like the wind, Link! Man, I wish he could run as fast as Unboxer Asu from Okami. Man, if Link could run that fast, oh man, that'd be awesome. But no, Opponent runs faster than Link. But horses are generally fast, so that's really cool. So for this one, you want to equip your, uh, your claw shot at the same time. So what you want to do is take the statue, about right there. Not like exactly underneath. Oh, hugging the wall, like the cliff, but a little further so you could jump down and actually, well, get there. Ha, there we go. And we get, is this the last Sky character? Okay, this is the last Sky character. Okay, sweet, I got some extra time. So what we want to do is take the statue. See, look, see how I'm moving the camera angle? Yeah, very nice. Let's bring it a little closer, about, about right there. Okay, so see how I can jump across, and then I could jump across to that side? No, it's Dark Link. No, it's not, it's just a shadow. Don't worry, there's no Dark Link in this game besides that one cutscene. And we get 100 more rupees, but it won't fit in our wallet. Oh, I forgot. Oh, here's 100 more rupees in case you need it, so that's real nice as well. So what we want to do is warp back to... Let's warp back to Hyrule Castle now. That's what I want to do. Okay. And, and those markings on your map, they'll stay there for the rest of the game. You can't get rid of it. Uh, don't worry about it. I mean, they're just the little red marks on your map. I mean, is it really that much of an inconvenience? No. The answer is no, viewers. It's not. So. Um, since I'm a little short on money, what I want to... Ah. Seriously? What now? Ah, let me guess. It's from Shad, isn't it? Is that that's a spoiler? Okay, it is from Shad. 
Ah, you know what? I bet Chad's saying, ha ha. As a joke, you get to see this guy riding in his tight, tight shorts. <laughs> oh god, okay. Chad, what's it now, buddy? Okay. Hey, Chad, what's up? He tried to learn all the statues, but he can't... Oh, he, he can't figure it out. So he headed back to the sanctuary. Hopefully we can find more information, so we'll just go see him about it. Okay, yeah, we most definitely can. And the reason why I'm rolling is because it's, well, it's turning nighttime. Well, I'm not really concerned about turning nighttime for a lot of reasons, but, well, I like it being daytime more. The town's more interactive, it has that happy theme to it as well, and I totally just skipped Agatha's house. We can't go in the tent till later, so don't worry about it. I guess the guards are just walking around armless. I don't know why, you'd think they'd be armed with spears or swords and shields and other stuff. I mean, the guards in Ocarina of Time, they're B.A. They know their stuff, they know exactly what they're doing and how to handle it, and they protect Hyrule with a burning passion in their hearts. But, wow, well, these guys are, they're just cowards. Okay, Agatha, surprisingly I have to pay you a quick visit because I really need the cash. Just give her a bug you haven't given her already. Because we need to be at, uh, you, you would love to tickle the grasshopper's belly, wouldn't you? We want to actually be at 600 rupees. Well, te technically, we, we we want to have 598 rupees so we can buy the magic armor. The magic armor, as I just said, is 598 rupees. So, now that we're stocked with money, we actually should probably go spend it. In real life, save your money. Spend it on your gas, college, uh, yeah, pretty much. And rent or anything you actually probably need to spend it on. Uh, if you notice, time passes by Hyrule Castle Town. It doesn't freeze like in the Ontario Village. It actually passes, so that's pretty nice. And we also don't need to clean our shoes before we enter Malamar this time. Well, let's see how the place changed. Uh, uh, okay, weird music. Uh, oh my goodness, everyone's dancing. You guys will get out dancing with the stars. Quit dancing. Buy it. You know you want it. Mallow mind. Do you have anything interesting to say? You don't need one, but you'll take one. Ha. Huh. Uh, okay. No. No, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Sell it to me, please. Uh. Hey, how's it going? Uh. Jeez. I guess you could. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, you buy it now, you buy it smart. Gee, it's not a tuxedo anymore. Oh, this music is so weird. Okay, yeah, actually what we want to buy is the most expensive thing here. Yeah, it's not 600 rupees, it's 598. Like, what's the point? So, yeah, we finally buy the magic armor. And honestly, I like how it looks. I like how we have the magic armor. It's really cool and it's fun to wear, but the only thing is, it, it takes up money. So, if you get hit, you lose money, and you also lose money, uh, well, you always lose money. I mean, it constantly drains your money. So, there's nothing you could really do about it. Wow, now I'm broke. But that's okay, I, I actually don't mind being broke. Oh yeah, I do need money. You know why we need money? To fix something. Ah, oh, do I seriously have to pay Agatha a visit again? Oh my goodness, I guess I am. Uh, we want about 300 rupees uh, for the next sequence of events. How am I on time? I'm already on 14 minutes? Oh. Okay, well, let's end the episode with Agatha. Why not? Let's make it 16 minutes with Agatha. Oh, let's see what creepy things she has to say about her bugs! Oh, they're so creepy! Oh, my goodness, your creepy bug obsession. I mean, I love bugs as much as the next guy, but what she says about the bugs is the creepy part. Seriously. Yeah, we already know what she says about the grasshopper. She wants to rub its belly. Yada yada, thanks. Thanks for the money! Eight more bugs left! Here, you might as well take them all. I mean, do I really need them? 
Uh, let's see. What's this one? The Beetle. Okay, this ain't the bad one. We'll get to the bad one, viewers. She wants to use the shell as a pillow. Uh, okay, should I get the Ninja Turtles down here to have you, have you sleep on their shells? It's not comfortable, trust me. Why do you want to sleep on an animal's shell? It's not a pillow, but, well, what can you do about it, right? Nothing, really. You want about 300 to 400 rupees before the next area? Yeah, they're happy. Thanks, Agatha. Eh, uh, this is definitely a weird quest. I mean, it's not so much annoying, but it's just weird. It's a weird quest. Ugh, the pill bug. Great, you're gonna love what she says about this one, guys. So, she wished you was smaller so she could roll around you like a, a ball. Oh. No, it's not, the, it's not the same one I'm thinking of. Okay. Well, never mind. It's not the pill bug we should be worried about. So, let's see. Yeah, I sure do have another bug for your ball. Let's get rid of the other pill bug. How, how am I on time? I'm already on 16 minutes. I should end the episode real soon. So, we made a girl happy. Can we make anyone else happy? Can we make Shad happy when we show him the rest of the Sky characters? Find out next time. Well, let's play Twilight Princess. Have a good day. And I'm just gonna meet you guys there off screen. So I'll see you guys when we get there. Yeah. So many s sparkling stuff. I don't know. You think the bugs would bite her? Would you be surprised if she asked for a golden fire ant? <laughs> That would be funny. Have a good day.